ஹலோ காய்ஸ் ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு இசி பிடெக் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் லெக்சர் ஸோ ஐ எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஹவு த வோல்டேஜ் இஸ் பில்டப் இன் செல்ஃப் எக்ஸைட்டட் டிசி ஜெனரேட்டர் வாட் ஆர் த கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் பில்டப் ஆஃப் வோல்டேஜ் அண்ட் ஹவு கிரிட்டிக்கல் ஃபீல்டு ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் in dc shunt generator and what is its importance in the previous lecture if the total circuit resistance is less than the critical field resistance then only the emf is in used otherwise the emf will be zero so if i am taking a shunt generator the field winding is connected in parallel with this armature in this field i am connecting one external resistance the two vir- variable rheostat this is rsh and re is a external resistance is connected like this so with the help of a prime mover the armature is rotating then the armature current is developed the major generated emf is induced then the armature current is also developed and the field current is flowing through field winding the ish is equal to the voltage which is appeared across the load is called the terminal voltage and vt divided by rsh plus re where re is the variable part where re is the variable part so if you am, if i am drawing the open circuit characteristics open circuit characteristics what is it means means eg versus field current by maintaining speed of the prime mover is uh, constant so eg versus field current so under no load conditions this is explanation is under no load condition only if the machine is under half condition that means the field current is zero some flux is present and that flux i am neglecting residual flux and the residual voltage the voltage is build up in a self excited generator is like this as if increases number of flux lines increases and generated emf is also increases why because eg is directly proportional to m5 if the speed of the prime mover is maintained as constant eg is directly proportional to pi pi is directly proportional to field current as field current increases generated emf is also increases linearly but after this point even if you increase the field current the suppose the field current is increased by 5% but the flux is increased only 3% because of its saturation position because of uh, its uh, electromagnetic property even though current increases the flux produces uh, less amount with that the generated emf the increasing in generated emf is slow so this point is called the knee point this point is called the knee point it will join the this is unsaturated portion unsaturated portion linear portion we can say that it is a linear so let us say oa and this one is b oa is linear portion and ab is non linear portion and also called as saturation region saturation region 
if a line a field resistance line if you draw the field resistance line so field resistance rsh plus re is equal to vt divided by ish if you draw this one the field resistance line is like this a straight line which passes through this point and it will touches the OCC curve project it horizontally it will touches the y-axis this voltage is called the E0 where E0 is called the rated induced voltage rated induced voltage and this line is called the field resistance line under normal operating conditions what is a normal operating means the field resistance is under normal this re will be equal to zero if re increases if re increases that is external resistance will be increases the shunt field current decreases the number of flux lines is also decreases the number of flux lines is decreases the generated emf is also decreases let us assume vt is approximately equal to eg divided by rsh plus rsc why because uh, IA is very very small IA RA drop uh, is also negligible and EG is equal to approximately equal to VT if I am at 1 ampere let us assume the generated EMF is 10 volts now the field resistance RF is equal to 10 divided by 1 that should be equal to 10 ampere so RF is equal to 10 divided by 1 that should be equal to 10 amperes let us say this is rf1 if the resistance external resistance is increases the total field circuit the total field circuit the field circuit resistance is increases let us see this curve will be shift upwards or downwards for same 1 ampere it will produce as 20 volts then rf2 is equal to 20 divided by 1 20 divided by 1 20 ohms this sorry rf is equal to 10 by 1 that should be equal to 10 ohms and rf2 is equal to 20 divided by 1 that should be equal to 20 ohms and similarly the all the points will be shift upwards all the points will be shift upwards now your field resistance line the field resistance line is comes like this the field resistance line is comes like this so this line is called the rf2 where rf2 is greater than rf1 rf2 is greater than rf1 okay so if uh, again the external resistance will be increases re increases rsh plus re increases then the total circuit field resistance is increases it will shift upwards for the same one ampere it will produce us the voltage is like this let us say this is 30 volts now oh, it is tangential to the tangential to the OCC curve this line is called the RF3 RF3 okay so if you increase the field resistance if you increase the field resistance what will happen if RSH plus RE increases, 
then the shunt field current is further decreases the flux is also further decreases or generated emf is also decreases okay this is a tangential curve the emf uh, which is induced is uh, maybe 30 or 28 only it is tangential to the occ even if you increase it further so there is no touching with the occ line there is no touching to the occ line this is rf4 rf4 is less than rf3 is sorry rf4 is greater than rf3 is greater than rf2 is greater than rf1 this rf3 you can observe that it is a critical field resistance above which the generator fails to build up the voltage we can define the critical field resistance the resistance the resistance above which above which generator generator fails to build up the voltage fails to build up the voltage then this is called the critical field resistance coming to this curve suppose if your field resistance will be decreases rf1 is less than rf nu then the voltage which is induced is more than that of the rated voltage this is a point you can project horizontally so what is meant by critical speed so critical speed is represented with nc n subscript c eg is directly proportional to n phi n phi and if a flux is maintained as constant constant eg is directly proportional to n if n decreases eg is also decreases eg is also decreases so you can i can draw the curve like this so this is uh, A straight line after that the OCC curve will be like this EG versus IF so we are uh, drawing the tangential curve tangential curve so this is a field resistance line rf line if you decrease the speed eg is directly proportional to n and n decreases speed of the prime mode decreases or generated emf is also decreases so if you observe that for the same current the generated emf decreases means the points are like this <coughs> the curve will be shift uh, downwards so if you join all the points so this is at n2 this is at rated speed if you decrease further so n1 is less than n2 if you decrease further again the generated emf will be decreases it is tangential to the resistance line it is tangential to the tangential to the uh, field resistance line still if you are decreasing there is no touching with the field resistance the a generated emf is equal to zero there is no buildup of voltage at rf3 the minimum voltage will be obtained at rf4 the generated emf is equal to zero there is no buildup of voltages there is no buildup of voltages so how can you calculate so practically rc is calculated 
RC is calculated by taking the slope to this line. Let us say this is C E D. C E D C E and D. So then R C is equal to R C is equal to delta E divided by delta I F change in EMF. So, so you can project here. You can project. So this is E2 and uh, this is E1. Origent vertically you can project. This is IF1 and this is IF2. So EG2 minus E1, E2 minus E1 divided by IF2 minus IF1 that will use the critical field resistance. That is DE divided by CD. So that should be equal to tan theta. Coming to the speed curve, E naught 2 divided by E naught 1 is equal to N2 divided by N1, where E naught 2 is equal to N2 by N1 into E naught 1. Okay, so the speeds below which, so we can define the critical speed. Critical speed is like this critical speed is repent with nc the speeds below which sorry the speed below which the generator fails to build up the voltage fails to build up the voltage is called critical speed so graphically critical speed can be graphically the critical speed can be graphically critical speed can be obtained obtained for given RSH only. The first step is draw OCC curve for rated speed for N1. And next one is draw a tangential line. Draw a tangential line to the this OCC curve. Say OA. And next one is draw a line draw a line representing the line r s h c o p so i will repent the o a and o p and the next one is select any field current select any field current say point r and fifth one is uh, draw vertical line, vertical line from R to intersect OA at S and OP and T. So here I am drawing the OCC curve E naught versus IF. So up to this, this one is linear. So after this, it is non-linear. So draw a OCC curve, tangential curve to the OCC, and then field resistance line. Draw a tangential line to the OCC curve. That is OA, OA, and the second step is draw a line. Repent the RSH that is called the OP. Yes, OP. This one is line is OP. And next one is uh, select any field current say point R. So at any field current say R, you can project it. So this point is R T, and this point on the tangential line is S. So N C is equal to N one into R T divided by R C. Then you will get the critical speed.
so he can easily calculate the critical speed in the next lecture i will solve the important problem on oc curve to find out critical field resistance and critical speed thank you guys